round two of the new garden project. This is the garden we're working on today. It's not a huge garden, which is good. It's manageable size, just for Christmas. Um, I did turn up yesterday without a digger to take down the bamboo hedge, but that was a bit of a bad idea. Plus, I dug a little hole there in the middle to see why the grass wasn't growing, and there's only about an inch of earth, the rest of it's hardcore underneath. So we're going to dig up the rest of the garden, take that hardcore. Over there in the corner, we'll have an Indian sandstone in like a brownish colour. And a section by there is going to be all pebbles uh, laid in cement. Here we've got a gazebo going on. And here's the picture of the gazebo. So that's a kit. So I haven't got a stress about cutting anything just got to clunk click it together and around the gazebo area we're having this wood stone from marshall's looks really nice and it actually does look like wood but it's not it's concrete then over this side here we're gonna have a planter an l-shaped planter around about that type of dimension width and height so nice and easy for planting don't want to be bending over too much Right, until then, I'm waiting for a skip to turn up, a digger to turn up, and my brother to turn up who's stuck in traffic. So I'm going to drink some coffee. Morning, everyone. It's digger time. What time is it? It's digger time. No, it's not Chico time. It's digger time. Yeah, so digger arrived yesterday. One of the bolts wasn't big enough for the bucket. So Gap's just been around now to give me the new pin. Now permission to dig. Skank in the rave, grown with coat, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad when the baseline drops, it's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. No skank in the rave, grown with coat, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad when the baseline drops, it's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. So this bit's going quite well. We had a bit of a stump there. You can see they've cut out the timber and shaped the stump. And there was another stump over there. Now I got another beastie stump here. So I've actually got my camera up there filming on a time lapse. So what I'm going to do to try and get this stump out, the best way to do is to dig around it, try and find some roots. And as soon as you find some roots, get the saw on it, chop it off, and eventually that will pop out. But at the moment, that's pretty solid. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. <laughs> Happy days. It actually came out a lot easier than I thought. There were some roots at the bottom I managed to snap off. But yeah, quite a beast. What a decent sized piece of wood. So glad that's out. I thought I was going to be there forever. Alright well, everybody, back again. Skips here, lush. I'm going to get rid of that lot of bamboo. So I'm going to set him out for the gazebo today. Um, yeah, so I scraped it all back yesterday. Cut all the bamboo out from round the back of the fence so yeah this, this is where the um this is where the patio is going to go the raised patio i don't have any pegs in my van this morning so i'm using bamboo because they got loads of it so we're going to set this out now and get some concrete in there shortly lay a couple of courses of bricks hardcore on top of that move on to the next bit Okay, foundation's dug out now for the gazebo. Uh, I'm going to stick 150 mil of concrete in it. That should be loads, plenty. It's only three or four courses of bricks to go on it. So yeah, so we're going to stick 150 mil in, a little bit more than normal. You don't even need 100, but I always like to go a little bit more. So stick that in, grab some bricks, get the bricks up as high as possible, and I'll figure out what I'm doing next. Not 100% sure myself. When the baseline drops, it's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. We're skank in the rave, wrong with coat, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad when the baseline drops, it's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. Morning, YouTubers. Scott again. Drizzly Monday morning. Hopefully, forecast this week's all right. 
But um, yeah, we'll work with mud today. We're gonna whack a plate what hard calls in the pagoda. Uh, we're gonna get that compacted. Another two bags of hard call to out the friend. Wang that on, compact that. Then we're gonna dig out then for the foundations for the planter. And as soon as I get the planter built, then I can backfill it with a lot of this earth. Because uh, it's just in the way at the moment. So my brother's gonna be here momentarily and then we'll crack on. Lush, get on with it. So there we go. We got the hardcore in the back of there, which is good. So we've got the mixer going there. My oldest brother, Richie. I wave to the camera. Hey. So we're uh, gonna put the concrete in now for around, let me get away from big glare. Bit of glare we got, there we go, got rid of that. So we put some hardcore down here first, just so we've got a good platform. Now we're gonna shut it off this area for um, the planter. Well, right, everybody, Scott again. Um, so yeah, foundations in yesterday, as you can see. So just been up to Manor Brick this morning to pick up the bricks, like a brownish color we're going for. And we're gonna throw in, where are they? We're there. We're gonna throw in a couple of occasional red ones as well, just so it's just not all too bland one color. So forecast looks good. Time for me to get cracking on. Let's lay these bricks. <laughs> planter complete so yeah sun's just coming up on the horizon so yeah walls in now so what we'll do we'll um we'll put some damp proof membrane around it and then fill it up with earth and move on to the next stage patio in a corner I just put another half a ton of stone dust in the pergola area. Planters are filled. So this wood stone, I'm gonna prime it to this face. Now, so the wood stone's gonna go to the face and then come over the top, lip in about 20 mil, and that's gonna be an LED strip then. It's gonna go around it. So what I've gotta do, I'm gonna prime the wall, prime the tile, just made a bit of wet cement up to sandwich between the two because these tiles, see, they're a bit weird and they? they actually really do look like wood. Let me just flip this one over. It's not mega, mega smooth, not like porcelain or anything. So if I just did primer and there's a little bump somewhere, then it's probably not gonna sit securely. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cement on it 
so should glue loads better so yeah there we go that's pretty much what it's doing priming the wall priming the tile and then i'm just gonna chuck a bit of cement there i'm not gonna put too much because i don't want to be too thick but i want it just enough just so if there is a little bump somewhere it's going to take it out make sure you get any little bits of crap out so yeah plant that on there now stick that to the wall flush to the top so the overhang i maybe i might actually be able to go 10 mil higher than that brick bit there um yeah i'll probably do that right um Nobody here to help film this bit, so I'm gonna plonk it on and then show you. So yeah, so I just popped it on, leveled it up, banged it in nice and tight. So I'm gonna put the scaffold board down on the next one, just so I got the right height, not print tape measures and coin blocks and crap underneath it. Do it properly, Baker, I don't do it at all. Well, let's just about to put the time lapse on. Run our batteries again. Tell you what, Brino, if you can see the name on there. Battery life's pretty crap compared to my old one. Batteries lasted forever. So here we go, time for the uh, pergola area. Yeah, so yesterday I put some in around the edge. So we got our heights. I put some in around the back. So yeah, time to start laying some wood stone. So what I'm gonna do as well, along the brick edge where my lighter is, I'm just gonna shove some primer on it. Here we go. Cause it's just a thin bit of cement going on there. I wanna make sure it sticks to it really nice and evenly. Right, I'll set up the time-lapse and we can see what this stuff looks like. Me laying this, I haven't laid this before, so should be interesting. Check it out, Mikey. Looks nice, isn't it? Let's get a little bit closer. A little bit of dust on there where I've just been cutting one. That absolutely does look like real wood, isn't it? So what I've had to do to make sure the corbel is the same, I got a string line over that side. And I got a string line over that side. Otherwise, I could possibly go our square, and we definitely don't want to be doing that, do we? There we go, one woodstone patio. Raised patio. So we got the pergola thing to go on top of there. Nightmare to use, fair play, absolute nightmare to use. See the left hand side of that one, that could be 220. The other side could be almost bloody 300. Oh, and I'm short, I'm 34 linear meters short, because I got to put them along the front as well, one row. And I still got three rows to do at the back. So I completely cocked up my measurement there somehow. Ah, uh, well, there we go. Friday afternoon. 
can't care too much otherwise you go mad right that's it for me guys everybody watching thanks for watching have a look at my um tidy bricks epic fail channel as well it needs some subscribers like and subscribe i need the help because i need another job because this one kills me <laughs> right that's it have a good weekend and it's bonfire night so uh don't blow yourself up morning everyone back again didn't do any filming yesterday completely forgot my time lapse and uh, my battery on my phone was dead as a doornail when I turned up to work. So he missed a little bit yesterday. Um, yeah, we've got a load of the sandstone in. So what we're doing with this sandstone, see the nice colours there? We're trying to mimic the wall. We've got bits of red, browns, little bits of uh, yellow. So we're trying to mimic that behind me. It's a little bit of a faff because the slabs we actually got were called Autumn Brown. But the customer wanted a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a couple of little, little bits and bobs. So I went back and forth the builders' merchants, swapping over a couple of tiles for some Pacific ones we wanted. And yes, we yesterday we started putting them in. So and I got new shirts, new shirts. Lush, my my last ones like right dirty horrible things. Right, enough blah blah blah. Let's crack on. Let's get the mix going. Let's lay some slabs. And it's going to rain later, so. Pull my finger out, bake it. So let me explain what I did here with a weed membrane as well. Yesterday I did film what I was doing, but I had the bloody radio on, so uh, I had copyright. So yeah, this area here, let me just turn around. That's having a decorative stone on it. So what I've done, if you can see here, I've bedded the actual membrane underneath the actual tile. So you can pull it nice and taut and it won't buckle or any point right next thing is i just had delivery of these the rest of the wood stones but ones underneath a bit darker than these ones oh god I'll tell you what was not one thing was another then before that i had a telephone call from marshall's from a uh, driveway i got coming up next a uh, pack of paviors we had to send back as they are wrong color turned up they just dropped off another packet and they're the wrong color as well so today i'm having massive bloody color issues excuse my french so what i'll have to do with some of these which are a lot um lighter or browner i'm gonna sling them around the back here i've still got a row to put along here where my boot is and i've got to clad the face as well so I'm going to go through the ones which I don't like colour-wise and I'm going to sling them behind there. Oh, my brother's not in today as well. He had to have his jab. So uh, we were going to have a go at the um, pagoda today. Um, but yeah, OK, we'll have to do that tomorrow. I'm not going to film anything today, though, because it's all iggledy piggledy. If you uh, understand what iggledy piggledy is, probably won't if you're watching this in America. But otherwise, faffing about. So I'm not going to bother filming anything, just going to get on with it. Time to put up the gazebo. I've been calling it a gazebo, pergola, and all sorts. Gazebo. Must remember is a bloody gazebo. Right, well, my brother's here to help me with this. I've never put one up before in my life. I did say to the customer from the start, I can do it, you know, as long as it's bought and it's clunk, click and put it together with instructions. So that's fine. So we're going to have a go, even though I've never done one before. And I'm not the type of person who reads instructions. I'm one of those people which puts it together as much as possible. Then when he gets stuck, then get the instructions. So my brother Richie is in charge. I'm just the monkey passing stuff from A to B. See what happens. Oh, Mickey. 
SD card full, so time lapse is done for now. It's going well. Shame about that pissing rain. <laughs> I thought I'd film that bit when like someone fell over. Right, so now we've got access to this, so you could, in theory, you can... And bish bosh. This is now a couple of days later. Just giving everything a good little pressure wash. Giving it all a nice pressure wash. Got these stones in by there. Got the concrete bit in there. Got the path then behind me. Got two more slabs to put in there. So now I've just been to Witchish Builder Supplies to pick up some Cotswold stone, which we're going to put in this bit. Great news today. Today I am mega happy. Jointed out the patio behind me. And we're not going to use a slurry. We're going to use... Joint it. Fantastic. Great news. I am going to use a slurry. I'm going to... All that cleaning malarkey... We're going to use this stuff. And the reason we're going to use this stuff today is because it's like a rustic look. You know, the whole garden is rustic. I know it goes green with algae. She's happy with that. She's happy with that. So you can apparently, I've never done it, but we're going to try it. If you paint yoghurt on this polymeric cement stuff, it attracts algae even more and the joints will go even more green. And that'll make that look actually pretty cool. So, I'm over the moon today. I am flipping happy as Larry. I am going to get my bloody grout stuff out and mix it all up and make a mess and rah, 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 rah. We're just going to wet this stuff up, chuck it on, push it in with the jointer, make sure that's the most important part, push it in nice and tight with the jointer, and it will go hard enough. But, ah, oh, lush. So the way to do this, well, the way I do this anyway, I think is a much better way. It does say on the box, just open it up, chuck a load of water on it and brush it in with a brush. No, that's not the way I do it. Fill it up with water, empty the contents into the box it came in, fill it up with water, trowel it out and joint it as you go and push it in nice and tight with a jointer. Then brush it bit off at the top. Fill that baby right up. And all the bubbles, as soon as the bubbles stop, we know then it's saturated. Trowel it out and put it in. I'll show you now. So this is the way I do it. Fill it up. Make, give it a little bit of a mix. All right, trowel a bit out. Check it where it needs to go. No more, no less. And then push it in. Nice and nice and tight. You don't put it in tight and do it the way they say on the instructions you'll never get it that solid this way i used to do many years ago before the slurry turned up and it was always better than the suggested way so just as you go clean up what you don't want and you know that area then is guaranteed pushed down nice and hard. Not like a brush, because you put it in, just brush it in, and it's not compacted, and it might not get all the way to the bottom. So follow that procedure, and I tell you what, it's a lot less bother than grout, slurry grout. If you can't quite get it in there with a jointer, just get it close. I can't actually really see, because my fingers are in the way. Just push it in with your hand with your fingers it's hard to do looking through the camera trying to do it but yeah that would be the way get it as close as you can and tap it in and that'll get it a little bit further in because obviously 
that's not going to fit in there. Morning everybody. So yeah, got the grouting done yesterday. It's a little bit behind me, but there, I haven't done yet. I ran out. Yeah, it's the odd little hole in there or something, but that's fine. That's good. So apart from that, I'll finish up it off after. Turf in, got a load of turf out the front. So you got two bulk bags. I just pulled one bulk bag in now. So you've got one more to go. So I've leveled that off. Now I'm gonna stamp it in. Stamp it in, compact it down a bit, then I can get the next level on top. I suppose it's a bit like compacting patio or your driveway and stuff. Don't do it all in one go, like four inches in one go. Do half of it, stamp it in, stick the other half in. So I've done that, so I'm gonna go round and round in circles now and doing that type of movement. Flash. All right, so that's the earth down. Level that up as much as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, let's start putting the green stuff down. Give it some color. So here we go, garden pretty much finished. My brother Richie's up on the top, putting some nails in. I'm not gonna bother filming putting the shingles in because I need a drone for you to be able to see what I'm doing. But apart from that, it looks nice. Got the sandstone down there. Just need a little bit of water over it. But yeah, that's one big gazebo, not a pergola, not everything else I've been saying. It's a gazebo, because it's got a roof. Well, anyway, it's been fun. So we're, we're just gonna put a couple more nails in there now. Then we're gonna call it a day. Then I'll stick this video online later and you can see it then. I spoilt it with a bit of clay. So I've also done a separate video as well for planter. If anybody wants to learn how to put planter together. But yeah, being really helpful. I have my brother Richie with me on this job because I've got a dodgy ankle at the moment. It's really swollen. I can't do anything. All right, apart from that, I'm going to spin the camera around. Job done. Um, getting closer to Christmas. Yes, thank God for that. Oh, I'm fed up with doing bloody patios. People are ringing me up. Can you come round and have a look at my patio? No. A lot of guts full. I want to do tidy break epic fail videos. Much more fun. Yes, oh yeah, have a look. Tidy break epic fail. I'll put a link at the end of this, the um, video anyway. Right, until then, it's a wrap. Catch you on the next one. Later!